morning guys. Last biking video. I saw a couple comments like, bro, you need to get an actual suit. You look like an idiot with the jacket. And I was like, you know what? You know what? You're right. Cause I wanted to buy the suit anyways. I just didn't think I needed it. I didn't think I was advanced enough to get the suit. I felt like maybe I was jumping the gun, but it took, it just took a couple people, put me over that edge, convinced me to buy the suit. And I was like, it. I got this cheap suit on Amazon for like 40 bucks. It also comes with like a jacket too. So I just threw the singlet on because it's really hot in my house. Um, I might eat, look, look at this. So my AC is, is leaking through the ceiling. So the whole day yesterday, like after 4 p.m. and then overnight, we had no AC because I had to turn it off because it just kept on leaking and it was leaking bad. It was like, like a lot of water. No AC in the house, slept like shit because I'm a person who runs hot. I'm just a hot human being especially when I sleep. I was pretty miserable. I was pretty miserable. Couldn't sleep, tossing and turning, throwing the covers off, fucking taking my pillowcase off. Like, just terrible. It's 7.30 a.m. I told myself I can get on the bike by 8 a.m. You know, just get my shit done and hopefully fix this AC thing. But the problem is, is I got a bunch of shit to do today. Like I gotta be running around. I gotta drop Milo off at the vet. I gotta go to the nursery home. I got a chiropractor today. So I got a bunch of shit that I gotta do. I hope they fix this because I don't think I can go another night without AC. And that puts it into perspective for a lot of humans that don't have AC. That shit sucks. I don't wish that upon my worst enemy, bro. That was fucking ass. We're gonna drink some coffee. We're actually gonna, we're actually gonna switch it up because I'm gonna do iced coffee today because I don't wanna, I don't wanna drink anything hot right now. Look at me, I'm fucking in the singlet. So we'll do iced coffee, chug that, take a shit, and then we're doing a 80 minute ride 80 minute bike ride under 145 heart rate. I think I may have a groin issue. Remember on my 20 mile run, I was like, yo, my groin is starting to pop and like feels, just doesn't feel good. Every day after my run, I just get a little soreness in my groin. So hopefully chiropractor, um, who's not just a chiropractor, he's like a injury specialist. Hopefully he can work on that as well. I'm going to him with shin splints, groin injury, and knee, my knee. Let's get the day started. Ever since high school, I used to only drink black coffee, or sorry, iced coffee back in high school and like all up until I went to college and I didn't get iced coffee. And then I just recently, probably within the last year, switched to hot coffee. I don't know, I'm sipping on this and I'm like, damn, this shit's hidden. So maybe I'll switch back to iced coffee. What do you guys drink, hot or cold coffee? If I do a triathlon, I'm gonna have to get a custom suit made, a young LA custom suit, that would be sick. You can get like logos and shit. Here, let me put on the jacket too. Oh yeah. I might need to get a better one because this is like a shitty Amazon quality one and I can feel like the stitching and I don't think this is that comfortable to ride in, to be honest with you. And I feel like that's the most important thing. If you're gonna fucking ride a hundred miles, you might want something a little bit more comfortable than this. I look official though. Oh, you know what? Do the blues match up? Oh yeah, plus my white helmet, bro, is perfect. All right, we're 30 minutes in the bike, 136 heart rate. So the goal is to keep it under 140, above 120. I'm doing a pretty good job at it. 6.9 miles, so honestly, I think my average speed is probably around like 16. I've been going hard, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna keep at it. I'm getting up this hill right now, but we're gonna keep at it. I think before when I was riding, I wasn't riding hard enough. So now like actively trying to keep my heart rate up rather than down. Like I'm trying to keep it above like 130. It's getting hard. So got about 50 minutes left, almost an hour. Hey, look at this shit. No hands, baby. This is way easier. I can use my arms to pump. Bro, I'm going fast. Holy shit. I'm going 18. 18 miles per hour with no hands. Let's go, baby. Oh, not. Nah. All right, we just passed an hour. We're at 14.2 miles. Heart rate 141. Pretty good. My heart rate got up to like 155 because I was being an idiot and I was like going really hard up this hill. We're back down to 140. 
So my previous longest ride was 15. So we're about to pass that and probably get up to like 17 or 18 miles in this hour and 20 minutes. 18 minutes to go. I've honestly been doing this no hand shit a lot. Cause it's kind of fun. And it gives my arms a break. Oh man, these fucking hills are punishing. 12 minutes left. I do feel a lot more comfortable on this bike than I did the first day. So I'm definitely making some progress. More comfortable, more confident, less scared, you know? I am really tired though, like sleepy tired. Cause I didn't sleep good last night. So like if, when I close my eyes, it li literally feels like I could take a nap right now. No joke. All right, we're all done on that. Let me go over the final statistics. So I was going a lot slower than I thought I was. Average speed was 13.4, 13.14 miles per hour. The elevation gain was 1,096 feet though. So I was, these hills, like, it, because I'm, I know I'm in California, I know. So like these hills out here are just 775 calories burned. Total distance, 18 miles. So you can see all the stats right there. So pretty good workout, 750 calories right off the rip, right when you wake up is, is always nice. Average heart rate, 131, which is perfect. Max heart rate was 157, and that was only for five seconds. Um, 152 beats per minute where it was for one minute. The bulk of it, 134 beats per minute was for an hour. So all these right there, pretty cool. So yeah, it was, go it was good. My legs are definitely sore, because that's the longest I've been on the bike, so my quads, are definitely feeling it and my butt as well. But other than that, pretty good. Like I wasn't ever like, maybe like for a couple minutes, my, I was just like huffing and puffing. But other than that, pretty good. It was nice out, good weather, not sweaty. So, oh, did y'all hear that? Did you hear that? What was that? My groin, like that's my groin. Like your hip right here? No, like yeah, my groin, well, it's my hip or my groin or something, but I'm telling you, this shit is fucked. Felt good though. But yeah, all right, I got some shit to knock out. Uh, I will see you guys later at the nursery. All right, we didn't film much because it was kind of just like driving around and pointing and taking photos of shit. So it wasn't very entertaining, but we got most of the plants done, but I got some bad news for us. Shit ain't gonna be done anytime soon. So I guess the tile that I had picked is sold out and it took two weeks for them to tell us that it was sold out. So now I gotta pick new tile and now it's gonna take even more time. So it, this shit, it, it, ain't, it ain't coming anytime soon. So I'm gonna just stop talking about it. It's annoying, especially because like I've already paid 75% of it, I think. No, even more actually. I've, I've paid like 85% of the job and it's, you know, this is all I have to show. I was so hungry, I forgot to even show it. But it was just three pieces of bacon with some maple syrup and eggs. As you guys can see, I'm struggling, I'm tired. Legs are sore. This is the syrup that I got. I got it from Whole Foods, it's really good. I would drink this shit. Very dark color, strong taste. That's what you wanna look for when you get the syrup. No added sugars either. It's insane. Toss that on your bacon or your eggs. Literally toss it on anything, it's so good. But not too much though, it's really calorie. I think it's more than, maybe it's not more than honey, but it comes out faster than honey, so you just naturally eat more of it because it's like more liquidy, you know what I'm saying? Get in there. Oh, look at this. It's a little thing. Welcome to the peanut butter penthouse. More, make more space in that top shelf. Oh, it's saying put it in the, <laughs> put in it in the VIP section. <laughs> Very cool. 12th year of business. Crazy. 12 years? Yeah. They're finally getting the recognition they deserve. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, it's thing. pretty cold in here. Oh, sorry. That's it? Yeah, what? What is it? It's the. It's just the peanut oh, butter it's cup. Just a few. I mean, to be fair, it's just free. It is free. Yeah. Well, they own me all their their whole company, everywhere. All right, so we just had people looking at the AC. Um, they figured it out, but it's gonna take. Well, who knows? They haven't even reached out to me to schedule the repair or anything. They figured out the problem, but you know they have to now send out a crew member to fix it. It was like a small, it's like a small issue. It's, it's kind of stupid how minor it is. It's just like a little, some glue came apart. Yeah, it, it seems like you could just fix it with duct tape, but I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna risk it. So hopefully they can get it, they can come out here within the next couple of days because I, like I was saying, man, I, I'm, a, I'm a hot human being. My body temperature, I feel like it's just higher than 
most people. I could use that AC, but it is what it is, man. What are you gonna do? I got no backyard and I got no AC. That's what they say. No backyard and You're no- You're gonna make it, babe. No I really believe in you. Yeah. This is your- Yeah, I'm not saying- I'm not saying this is like crazy bad issue. Cause honestly, it feels fine in here right now. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just a little sticky. Like it's a little warm. Uh huh. Exactly. It's like a little bit musty, which is kind of kind of nasty. But I just hate it when I sleep. Like, cause I'm fu I need to sleep. And you it. You just need to sleep with a fan on your side. Cause I didn't have no yeah, problem. Yeah. I yeah. I don't know. I just need to sleep in a fucking cold plunge. Is what it is. <laughs> All right, we're about to uh, we're about to go get some work done at the at the chiropractor, and then I'm gonna have to train later today. Also, guys, Milo's got a little cone. <laughs> he's like, what? Got a little cone on, cause he's got some like scratches on his on his face. So we're so we, he's been itching him, so we gotta put the cone on him. She's getting spayed in like a couple days. Finally. Fucking. They're gonna take your eggs. Finally. Ugh. All right. Let's get this shit. I don't even know what I'm talking about. What do we got? Okay, so I also have like a little bit of shoe splints, old size. Yeah, more my left though. Okay. Kind of go shoots down the inside of my, <coughs> my calf. Uh, and then recent, I also have a, a torn ACL and a torn meniscus in this knee. It kind of bugs me like after long runs, but it's not, I don't think it's like that big of a deal because I don't really know what you can do. Um, and then my groin recently is kind of a uh, bit bugging me. The left side of groin, yeah. So a lot of leg stuff. Yeah. We'll check uppers too and everything. Groin, how is it with running compared to biking? The biking's really, it's easy. Like I don't I don't mind it at all. Um, but running, it starts to hurt like after, after a little bit. Okay. And there's like a clicking as well sometimes. I just want to look at this to get a baseline okay. first. You're thinking about time for your first marathon? Yeah, because originally <laughs> I just wanted to originally I just wanted to finish, but I was just thinking don't quit. Yeah, exactly. But um, what are you gonna go? My, sub three? No. Yeah. No, maybe it's sub three, four. You will see. You may notice too, on the right side you pass the test. This side you want the knee to come within a fist and thumb length of the table. Okay. And it's easy to just and you can make it. Yeah. But if we level off the pelvis, it doesn't make it. So then that's a shortened hip flexor. I definitely feel like a tight tightness right here. Yeah. This and even just like. Before we even deep dive, you can yeah, I can feel it. You can just grab that summer. Yeah, that's so okay. So we know you've been working hard. All right, we are back from some much needed work. Uh, I'm definitely gonna continue to go to him. That was my first session with him. Um, he does all of the young LA guys, and he's great. He's also super passionate, which is always good. So I'm probably gonna see him once a week, especially now that I'm trying to like dial in on my training and shit. So yeah, we're gonna be taking it. We're gonna be taking recovery serious, some might say. The AC people should be coming tomorrow. I'll keep y'all updated if y'all care. That'd be cool. The last episode of 75 Dialed, we get the AC fixed. Look at how hot it is in my house, bro. Let me show y'all. This is no joke. It is six. Look at that. It's 6.30. It's 81 in my house. That's not a, that's not a joke. It's so hot in here. I'm gonna eat dinner. I was gonna go train, but I'm exhausted. I'm just gonna bullshit a little walk. <laughs> I'm not even gonna take the dogs because they've already had. You walked them this morning too, right? Mm -hmm. So they had two walks and she was panting when we came back. My dog sitter came while we were at the Cairo. I'm gonna do a post meal walk. You know, the little ones where like, you know, you ever see those reels where they're like, the second you take your last bite, you should be taking on a, a walk because it's good for digestion, this and that. I'm gonna make dinner and do that. All right, so if you've watched, I'm sorry if I'm being annoying about how hot it is, but it, it's really hot, especially with the sun right here. It's 7 p.m., give me a break. What the fuck are we doing? If you watch my full day of eating, you've seen this meal a million times, or if you watch literally any episode of The Dial, you've seen this meal a million times. Egg, three eggs, avocado, sauerkraut. This actually has a little bit of dill in it, Delicious. If you can get dill flavored sauerkraut, it's so good. And then I got myself an ice water, which I usually never drink because my ice isn't through my water filter. It's tap ice, but I'm so, I, I'm so warm, I could, I honestly just need it. So I'm gonna devour this, and then we can go on a little walk, a little walk and talk. Oh, you know it's bad when it's nicer outside than it is inside. Ariel was saying it's even hotter 
upstairs because the heat rises, right? So upstairs is probably brutal. I think we might just sleep downstairs, honestly. Open up the, the windows, sleep downstairs, get some breeze going. Does anyone know the science behind walking after a, uh, after a meal? Does anyone know? Supposedly it's really, really good for you though. Like one of the best things you can do ever for your gut. Also my neighbor, look at her. Look at her. This literally all went up in like, like less than a month. She had dirt like this, but because she didn't have a pool, so there were no permits. There was no uh, inspections. Curses, bro. My dad called me, he said, Brandon, I know it sucks now, because I was pretty disappointed. It's Brandon, I know it sucks now, but that's what's gonna make it ever even more sweet. Even more sweeter is when it's finally done. He's like, you're not even gonna remember waiting around for it. And I was like, you know what, dad? You're right, you always give the best advice. I didn't say that, but I said you're right. She's gonna not even think about it. I feel good taking this walk after a meal. Wow, stuffed my face like a fat fuck and now I'm walking and talking. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. I appreciate you guys watching. We're on 73, I think it is. So tomorrow, 74, or Saturday, 75, yeah. And then the video, the finale drops 75. 75 dialed finale drops Sunday, so. I hope you guys, I hope everybody watches that one at least because obviously the views are pretty shit right now, which I, I totally understand. It's weird, like the videos that pop off, they pop up for literally like 24 hours and then as soon as I drop the next one, it just boom, stale. So I don't know if YouTube fucked with me doing, like I don't know, I don't know if they liked us doing the daily uploads or not. Obviously these videos do shit because there's no like crazy thumbnail, but the ones that did, like the ones that like the porn video, the first couple with Ariel, they do well in the beginning and then they just fucking f drop off after a day. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching if you're still watching. 73, man, we made it. We fucking did it. We fucking did it. I don't want to get too hype because I'm, I'm saving up the hype for the final episode. I hope everyone has a good day. Tell your friends to watch 75 final episode because that's where I'm going to go through all of it. All right, fellas. It is nice out here, man. Wow. Can't wait till the backyard's done. <laughs> See you in the next one. Peace.